Hello, this is Captain Vaughn, and welcome to another video. Today's topic is the Vakbara class cargo frigate, or more simply known as the Vakbara class. The Vakbara class was a type of hybrid cargo frigate design manufactured by Kuwait Drive Yards, which earned the name Resistance Cargo Frigate because it was used by the Resistance Navy during its conflict with the First Order. And the vessel was envisioned a combination of basic anti pirate defenses with an extensive cargo capacity. Its light armament was made up of laser cannons though it also boasted two tractor beam projectors. In addition, after the bankruptcy of Gala Free Ship Yards, the Galactic Empire engineered the company's takeover by Kuwait Drive Yards. KDY coupled existing Gala Free designs with elements of its own Nebula and Frigate line to create the Vakbur class, a hybrid of the two, and the new design would fare poorly on the Galactic Starship market, with many of them being dumped on the secondary market, and, ironically, despite its initial role as an anti-pirate freighter, it became popular with pirate bands. Anyway now to the stats, the Vakbara class was 469.92 meters long, 79.88 meters wide, and 154.46 meters tall, and it was equipped with sublight drive engines. In addition the vessel could go at speeds of up to 850 kilometers per hour, and it was equipped with a hyperdrive, though it fails to specify its class. The Vakbara class was equipped with incredibly weak armament, for a ship of its size as it was equipped with four laser cannons and two tractor beam projectors. The Vakbur could be operated by a minimum crew of 26, though it required a much larger crew of about 70 in order to operate effectively. In addition the vessel could carry up to 150 passengers, 1,350 metric tons of cargo, and four years worth of consumables. The Vakbur was manufactured by Kuwait Drive Yards, and its cost was unknown. Now to my personal opinion. Overall I believe that this vessel was one of the worst frigates you could possibly buy, and it deserved the response it was given, sure it could carry quite a lot of cargo. But other than that it served no other real purpose, it wasn't even fast, or well armed, at all. I must say though, it did only require a crew of 26 in order to operate, which I suppose was relatively impressive. Anyway that's all for today and until next time I'm Captain Vaughn and thank you for watching.